Is the backing pad on your Bauer Random Orbital Sander from Harbor Freight worn out? And does the dust catcher fall off, dumping sawdust everywhere? Can't find replacement parts anywhere? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to replace it for around $10 and 20 minutes of time. Random Orbit Palm Sanders make quick work of many otherwise tedious sanding tasks. The Bauer is a nice little sander and for the money, it can't be beat. I bought one because it costs less than half the price of the big name tools and it gets rave reviews. It has plenty of power and with quality sandpaper pads, it's handled some big jobs with great results. Overall, it's worthy of the praise, but there are two flaws. The dust collection container vibrates off, making a big mess, and the soft rubber backing pad wears out. That pad wears out on all sanders like these, and all the major brand sanders have replacement pads available. But replacement parts for the Bauer are not available in store, and I've never heard of anyone actually getting one online or anywhere else. I suspect replacements may not actually exist. And unfortunately, none of the other brand's replacement pads will fit the Bauer. So when the rubber gets chewed up like this one and the Velcro no longer holds the sanding discs tight, it becomes a disposable tool. That is until now. Both of these issues are easy and quick to fix, and I'll show you how. Hi, this is Steve DeMossi, and welcome to Uncharted DIY. The problem of the dust container falling off cost me zero dollars to fix. I just wrapped a couple of large elastic bands around it, pinching the sides. So far, it's keeping the collector attached, and now it does a great job of collecting dust. The second fix is the rubber backing pad. Mine was kind of chewed up on the edges, making the sander hard to control. The Velcro was also worn out, especially near the center. I replaced mine with a backing pad meant for DeWalt sanders. The DeWalt pad is an improvement over the pad the Bauer comes with since it has a metal structural plate versus the all plastic Bauer plate. The DeWalt pad looks like it would be a direct replacement with its eight vent holes and four screws in a square pattern, but it's not a direct fit. You can see the issue in this photo. The white plastic spacer disc is part of the Bauer assembly, and you can see the holes are closer together than the holes in the metal DeWalt. It would be possible to elongate the holes, but doing so in metal would be tough, and I was concerned about wobble if the fit wasn't just right. The great news is that modifying it to fit the Bauer is really easy. Coincidentally, it already has spots that are perfect for drilling holes, complete with built-in guides. Simply turn the plastic spacer disc 45 degrees. It lines up perfectly with the square notches in the metal plate. Using a 1364 inch bit, I drilled new holes through the plastic and out the Velcro side, using the notches as built-in guides. Then I used a 932nd inch bit to drill out or basically countersink the rubber. I lightly drilled from the Velcro side until it touched the metal plate, removing some rubber so the screws would countersink below the Velcro surface. My counterbores are not as clean edged as the factory ones, but they do the trick quite nicely. Reattach the four screws through the front of the pad and through the plastic spacer disc. And now you have a good as new rubber backing plate and the paper sticks perfectly. So you can get back to sanding and you've saved another piece of equipment from going in the trash. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube will share this with more people. This is Steve and thanks for watching Uncharted DIY.